one of the things that I've enjoyed from LG phones over the last few years is the ability to customize the software navigation bar. Now the navigation bar is your three buttons down here, your back, home, and recents button. And here it's actually see-through, it's transparent, but if we go into an app, we can see it's actually set as default to be white. Now on the LG G5 we have a number of customization options for the navigation bar and to access those we're going to need to launch the settings app, tap the display option, tap the home touch buttons option. For some reason LG has called the, those home touch buttons instead of the navigation bar. And here we have three different ways to customize these buttons. So as you can see, we have white background, but we can change this to black. We get a little preview right here. And now they're black like normal stock Android devices with software navigation bar. We also have the ability to move and add these buttons. So here we have our example. We have back, home, and recents. But for Samsung devices, it's usually recents, home, and back. So if you're coming from a Samsung device and you're used to that back button being on the right side, you can simply change the order. You can see I changed it up there and it changed it automatically down there. So then once we exit this, they changed just like that. Press back and it works just like normal. We also have the ability to add a couple more buttons here. So if you don't like reaching to the top to bring down the notification panel, you can simply drag, tap and drag that notification button in here. This way whenever we tap that button it brings the notification panel down. Tap it again, it pushes it away. LG has added two other ones, one for Capture Plus and one for QSlide. Capture Plus is a way to do screenshots and then edit them if you don't want to do the button combination and then you have Q slide which will bring up your Q slide apps instead of having to come up here and tap them from there so I like to have the tr traditional buttons down there but personally I don't like having that bar there all the time I feel that bar takes up a lot of screen space and thankfully LG lets us hide these buttons with this activated you need to swipe up from the bottom in order to show it but you have to activate it for each individual app that you want so say we, we use Chrome a lot and we don't want those buttons there while we're using Chrome. So to give you an example, we have Chrome, but the Chrome window doesn't extend all the way down to the bottom of the display because of the navigation bar. However, if we enable and then go back into Chrome, those, that navigation bar goes down to the bottom and Chrome extends all the way to the bottom of the screen. We can go anywhere we want from here just like normal and then when we're done we just swipe up from the bottom and there's our navigation bar. It'll go away in a couple seconds. And you can set this option for any number 
of applications that are listed here. You just have to make sure that it's enabled for each one that you want those to be hidden from.